case study number two. Case study number two is a 15-year-old male patient who has a history of asthma, was uh, found um, unresponsive um, during a soccer game, um, unknown um, history of present illness other than uh, being uh, found unresponsive and um, uh, with uh, irregular rapid labored respirations. Uh, rapid sequence intubation uh, was performed on scene by EMS and uh, you have been called to transport this patient uh, from scene to a definitive care facility. Upon arrival, you attach the patient to your ventilator and you notice the, uh, the following graphics. Uh, this patient is intubated with a um, 8.0 endotracheal tube. Um, the tidal volume is, you can assume to be appropriate for ideal body weight at this time. Uh, there is no other significant past or present medical history uh, to be noted this time. You notice an FiO2 of 40%, PEEP of 5, respiratory rate of uh, 15, and assist control. You notice uh, no spontaneous uh, respiratory effort at this time. And notice the uh, following waveforms. You take a minute to uh, look at these waveforms and discuss them. Uh, you go ahead and decide. Uh, you, you do look at the patient's vital signs and you notice that the uh, blood pressure is low, the patient is tachycardic. Uh, you go ahead and uh, decide to uh, do some further assessment at uh, this time. We close out the loop window and that'll put us in um, just our scalar window. I want you to pay close attention to the uh, pressure time waveform. At this time you're, you notice the peak pressure is very elevated at 50 and you uh, decide to initiate an inspiratory hold. Inspiratory hold. We now have a plateau pressure of 19 to 20. You can notice the disparity between the peak and, uh, pressure and plateau pressure. Um, after obtaining your uh, plateau pressure, you pull your loops back up. You also notice that you have a very prolonged expiratory phase on your flow volume loop uh, with an ice cream scoop type of pattern. At this time, if you would uh, discuss uh, some potential problems that you, you see going on, uh, we will pick the case up later. Thank you.